Yeah, a change of pace now. Uh, all eyes have been on Denmark this week after the shock abdication of Queen Margaret, paving the way for the Aussie-born Princess Mary and husband Prince Frederick to take the throne. Uh, Louise, it's all pretty impressive for a girl mm. from Tassie. How do you think she'll oh, do as Queen? Oh, fantastic. I'm a big fan of Mary. I think she um, has shown... Uh, fantastic. She's played a beautiful long game, really. She has. She's been super patient. She's, you know, inserted herself in Danish and European life, you know, with exquisite um, class and everything else. She's um, not caused any scandals. She's still there, even though her husband apparently has involved, been involved in a scandal, allegedly. Um, and so HM Queen Mary, long may she reign. I think it's, it's a great... Um, it's a great role model for Australian girls, in a way, to see that's the trajectory you can take if you um, end up sort of carrying yourself in a certain way and sort of applying yourself to certain standards. Maybe and if you go to the pub on the right night. Oh, yeah, that's true as well. That doesn't hurt to go to the slip in, does it? So um, I think... Um, no, it's oh, a favourite of yours. Yeah, oh, no, not <laughs> Maybe. But, yeah, I thought it was interesting that um, Queen Marguerite, of course, said that she um, had had a successful back operation and it really made her sort of take stock and think of the future of the monarchy itself. And, look, I'm all for getting a younger king and queen in. I mean, we don't have that, of course, in the UK at the moment. We won't do for a long time. But it's um, it's great to see they're sort of paving the way for younger royals to really sort of take the spotlight. Oh, it's very exciting for mm. Australia.